This is disturbing. However, this so-called pastor or minister said that the Most High worships us. Watch this. What if God worships me? Can you say that with me? What if God worships me? God, we honor you today because you honor us. We worship you today because you first worshiped us. And for that, we say thank you. We declare that you are God that worships us. That's how much you love us. And do you all realize many people are following this person? For the Lord says false prophets shall arise and deceive many. And as you can see, they are here. According to Romans chapter 1, it says that when they knew God, but worshiped him not, and they changed the glory of the Most High to the likeness of a man. Therefore, the Most High gave them over to a reprobated mind. And these people would have unnatural affections. And you can tell by this person's mannerisms that the scriptures are referring to him. See, you don't play with the Most High. And how dare you say the Most High bow down to people? That is sacrilege. For the Most High is above all, and no one compares to his glory. For angels bow down to him, and plus he rules in the kingdom of men. But I realize that unclean spirits are using people. They are speaking through people. They are disguising themselves as an angel of light. And their ministers have transformed themselves into ministers of righteousness. But the truth is not in them. And according to the text, false prophets and unclean spirits, they work together. This is why the text says, in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And a way you can identify an unclean spirit is by paying attention to a person's lifestyle and their doctrine. Now, don't be deceived because they are going to claim they received a new revelation from the Most High. But let me be clear. If anyone teaches a revelation or a doctrine that is contrary to the scriptures, that doctrine and revelation came from the prince of this world. Don't come into agreement with these people because if you were to come into agreement with this person, in reality, you came into agreement with the prince of this world. So brothers and sisters, watch and pray and don't be deceived. God bless you.